Good day, my fellow home gardeners, and welcome back to my Easy Gardening channel. I have completed uh, four videos already, and these were all focused on plant propagation by stem cuttings. Today, I will talk about another topic that I'm sure this will also be of great interest to home gardeners. Well, uh, you may have heard about soilless plant growing medium. Just what is it? And how is it different? from the normal soil that we know. And what are its usual components? What is it uh, used for? Friends, please be with me as I will try to expound on this topic. Right, so the soil is medium is a term used in horticulture to refer to the growing medium that is other than the usual soil that we know of. You know, soil is composed of sand, silt, and clay, but if you are using materials like this, then this is soilless medium. And I will uh, try to describe each one. So, these are some of the usual components of uh, soilless medium. Uh, the first one I have here is the perlite. Uh, as you can see, it is white and very, very light. It's almost like foam. Uh, perlite is a naturally occurring mineral and it has the usual property of greatly expanding when heated sufficiently. And because it has expanded, it becomes very porous and very light. Uh, the other one is called vermiculite and you can see that it is uh, light brown and also very light just like perlite and uh, vermiculite is also a naturally occurring mineral which also undergoes significant expansion when heated that is why it is also very light uh, the third one is the pumice uh, this one here and it is heavier compared to perlite and vermiculite, but a lot lighter compared to the ordinary sand or the gravel. And the pumice is actually a product of uh, volcanic eruption. It is light colored, extremely porous, and the vesicles are actually uh, gas bubbles that were trapped in the rock during the rapid cooling of the magma. As you see, the magma is extruded out as lava during volcanic eruptions and because it is heated, it expands and just like perlite and vermiculite, it becomes very light and very porous and it is mined naturally from the soil. So what is uh, the value of these three uh, minerals in horticulture? Well, it has found good value as components of potting mix. Because as I've said, they are very light and quite stable, so they can be recycled. And it imparts very high water holding capacity to the soil. And also because of uh, the porosity, uh, there is free air movement within the medium, which is really very good for the plants. And also, it is able to hold water well. And at the same time, it is able to drain excess water so that the medium is not waterlogged. And then moving on, we have uh, three more components of the soilless uh, growing medium. I have here the propagation sand, and you can see that it is uh, quite coarse. And the value of this propagation sand is that you combine it with peat moss, which I will uh, describe later, which is very light. It, it causes the medium to become quite heavy. Again, porosity uh, by virtue of its big uh, size. Uh, pit moss, this is a very important component because uh, this forms the base of many potting mix. Uh, this is actually organic in nature. This is mined from the Hauraki Plains in the Waikato region of New Zealand. And this is formed in swamps you now because when trees are felled or other vegetation are brought to the soil, uh, they don't decompose fully 
Uh, the place being uh, waterlogged, which is swampy, and in time, this pit must develop. So this is mined uh, in these spaces. Uh, actually, New Zealand also uh, imports pit moss from Estonia, which is also a very good source of this material. Now, this is uh, the pit moss. You can see that at this stage it's very dry and needs to absorb water before it can uh, be used as component of the medium. And being organic, uh, this adds value to uh, the uh, medium. And in, this is actually uh, my favorite medium, but this needs to be mixed with other components and with additives such as fertilizer or lime. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how I formulate my own potting mix using this as a base. Okay. Now, another very common component of the potting mix is the composite pine bark. Uh, this is actually a product of the timber industry. The bark of the pine tree is removed, hammer milled, screened, and graded to a specific particle. Uh, I mean, particle of range and then subjected to the normal composting process. Uh, so this actually is uh, ready to be used as a potting mix because they have added uh, other components to this, although they did not specify the specific uh, ratio of the different components. But, uh, but this one is formulated such that this can be used as a potting mix. Okay, but when you try to uh, formulate your own potting mix for specific purposes, like for example, your succulents, cactus, and bromeliads, you can actually uh, just add these other components to it. Uh, like for example, this is a uh, dish garden. I have planted some succulents and cactus in this dish. And the potting medium that I used was just a potting mix. But I combined it with uh, two to one, uh, two parting mix and one part hummus. Uh, because uh, you see uh, cactus and some succulents actually like a drier condition. So you want your soil to be really well drained so that when you water the plant, um, water will not retain in the medium for a long time. And so, so that's why you need this additional component which is hummus. Uh, this is a bromeliad and this is also a plant that needs a uh, specific potting medium. It also likes a very porous medium, but at the same time it needs a medium that holds water with very high water holding capacity. So what I do for this medium is try to mix pine bark, the one that you use for orchids, but add to it some pumice uh, so that it will not be very compact it will remain very porous but at the same time it's able to hold water well. Uh, when formulating your own medium uh, we also have to think about uh, some additives for example the fertilizers and also and this is the saturated or uh, granular uh, soil water you just add this to the medium and penetration of water into the medium uh, would be greatly facilitated. These are the two lining materials, you have your ordinary garden line and you have your dolomite. But for you to be able to sustain uh, the supply of nutrients to your plant, you need a controlled release uh, fertilizer. So this is an example of it and this is good for six months. Which means that you don't have to fertilize for the first six months and after that we will do a fertilizer application. So that ends our session today and I hope I have given you additional information about gardening and this time uh, making wise decisions as to the potting medium that we will use for any kind of plants. So in my next video I'm going to show you how I formulate my favorite potting mix, making use of the pit moss and some pumice and base fertilizer, lime additives to make sure that plants will grow well based on the medium that you have prepared. So please don't forget to share this video with others, to comment and to suggest a 
to all possible topics that I covered in my YouTube videos. And of course, to uh, share and subscribe to my Easy Gardening channel. That's all for now. Thank you and have a nice day.